from the forces of evil that have attempted to cause disharmony and disintegration by covertly sponsoring the activities of terrorists in Nigeria. We are embarking on this protest march to send a powerful message to the French authorities that Nigerians are indeed aware of its nefarious activities with regards to the ongoing war against terrorism in northeast of Nigeria. The movement against slavery and terrorism as a civil society organization, we have decided to take our protest to the French embassy where we are now, in Abuja, so the message could be relayed to the French authorities wherever they are in France that Nigeria is indeed a sovereign country and as such any form or attempt to compromise our in territorial integrity will be resisted wholeheartedly. At this point I want to stress Nigeria was not colonized by France therefore they have no business coming to toy with our lives here. Since 2015, when the present administration assumed leadership, that is the, the, the leadership of President Muhammad Buhari of this country, there has been tremendous progress recorded in the fight against the Boko Haram terrorist group. So much so that Nigerian troops captured their operational headquarters, Camp Zero, in Sambisa Forest to the glory of God. And we're all happy about that. It didn't stop there. The Nigerian troops also recaptured the over 16 local government areas in northeast Nigeria that were once under the control of Boko Haram terrorists. By and large, the Boko Haram group was disseminated and fled in their droves to the fringes of Lake Chad Basin, Niger, and from where they launched an attack on soft target communities within that vicinity. We are aware that some vested interest was not happy with the gains made by the Nigerian government and especially our dear president, President Muhammad Buhari, in the fight against terrorism. As such, they began providing logistic support under, the human, under a cover called humanitarian whatever to the Boko Haram fighters. They also assumed the role of the mouthpiece of the Boko Haram terrorist group. They used their state medium to promote their nefarious activities and to give them the needed psychological boost, claiming human rights for people that have been raised trying to kill fellow Nigerians by them. The movement against slavery and terrorism wishes to state categorically and on unequivocal terms that France is indeed responsible for the resurgence of Boko Haram attacks in Nigeria in recent times because there is overwhelming evidence that he has been selling arms and ammunition to the Boko Haram terrorist group. This is authenticated. These arms come into the country through the Francophone, our Francophone neighboring countries. We also wish to send this message to the President of France, Emmanuel Macron, that what France is doing under his watch is indeed a crime against humanity. As such, it must, and as a matter of urgency, desist from spreading terrorism in Nigeria and other African countries, because whether we like it or not, we are Africans, and this is our land. The movement against slavery and terrorism sees the actions of France as an assault, an assault on our sovereignty as a country. That is Nigeria. This is indeed despicable and must be condemned by all and sundry. We are also aware that the actions of France are hinged on economic benefits, given the avalanche of economic resources in northeast Nigeria, particularly the Lake Chad Basin region. This is indeed an attempt at recolonization. What did I say? It is another attempt at recolonization by France. After we have been colonized by Britain, we are not under France and we will not allow for France to come and colonize us again with, by violence, which by all standards is quarrel and won't stand the test of time because Nigerians will resist every move with passion. Let me pause here and give you one statistics. In March 2008, Listen to this quote and please put it on record and on your, on your medium. Without Africa, France will slide down into the rank of 23rd power of the world. That is, quote and unquote, former French president Jacques Chirac. Another quote and unquote, without Africa, France will have no history in the 21st century by Francois Mitterrand. This was a prophecy given in 1957. Now, I want to digress a little bit. In 14 African countries, 
14 African countries are obliged by France through the colonial pact to put 85% of their reserves in the central bank of France. That is not enough for them. Under the French Ministry of Finance, in 2014, Togo and other 13 other African countries still have to pay the colonial debt, which they do not owe to France. African leaders who refuse to pay are either killed or victims of coup d'etat, and those who obey these oppressive conditions are supported and rewarded with a lifetime rulership and not leadership of their people. This strangulating colonial system offers France, please put it on record, a cash of about 500 billion US dollars. I mean 500 billion US dollars year in year out, which they now in turn used to purchase weapons of destruction for fellow Africans and especially Nigerians for us to begin to kill one another. This is unacceptable to us. It is no longer tolerable. We will not accept it. Yes. And in yes. the case for Nigerians to kill Nigerians, we say no to this. We say no. You cannot continue to use money from Africa to buy weapons, arms and ammunition for Nigerians and other African countries to kill themselves. We say no. I said we say no. no. We say no. We say no. The movement against slavery is also calling on United Nations to investigate the role of France in the spread of terrorism in Nigeria and the whole of Africa. France must also stop the sale of arms and ammunition to the Boko Haram terrorist groups in the interest of peace and tranquility. That is what we need for us to progress and succeed. This is on the heels that the bulk of the French NGOs operating in Northeast Nigeria are carrying out espionage activities and passing the same to the leadership of the Boko Haram terrorist groups on the instruction of French authorities because of their business interests. The, in the business of selling arms and munitions to Nigerians to kill Nigerians. Mm -hmm. The movement against slavery and terrorism is indeed saying enough is uh, enough. No. Enough is uh, no. enough. No. Enough is uh, no. enough. And France must stop the distasteful support it has been extending to the Boko Haram terrorist group in Nigeria, which is aimed at making Nigeria erupt in flames. And Nigeria will not erupt in flames. Instead, France will erupt in flames in the mighty name of Jesus. The movement against slavery and terrorism wishes to inform the president of France, Emmanuel Macron, that the world is indeed watching closely, and we, especially Nigerians, are also watching very closely. And should the French authorities not halt the spread of terror, Terrorism in Nigeria, the day of reckoning is indeed near yes. and very, very near. Yes. Again, I want to stress another fact. A plane, a cargo plane was intercepted either in Chad or Niger the other time and it, in Mali and it was all African children. Some of them were Nigerian children and they were taking them for what? For, for their pedophile people. To, 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 to destroy the destiny of these children and then after these children die they use them to harvest human organs for their own children. No child is greater than any other child. We say no to France. No. I say we say no to France. No. We say no to France. No. We say no to France. No. Thank you.
movement against slavery and terrorism has cautioned France President Emmanuel Macron to stop sponsoring terrorism in Nigeria and other African nations. The visibly frustrated African numbering in their hundreds demanded that the French authority must end ties with Boko Haram Ishwap terrorists, which it has routinely harmed. Addressing the media in front of the French consulate, convener Princess Ajibola said the mission was to get Macron attention that Nigeria is a sovereign nation, that any attempt to compromise the territorial integrity will be resisted. We're embarking on this protest march to send a powerful message to the French authorities that Nigerians are indeed aware of its nefarious activities with regards to the ongoing war against terrorism in northeast of Nigeria. The movement against slavery and terrorism as a civil society organization. We have decided to take our protest to the French embassy where we are now, in Abuja. So the message could be relayed to the French authorities wherever they are in France, that Nigeria is indeed a sovereign country, and as such, any form or attempt to compromise our in territorial integrity will be resisted wholeheartedly.